So you were born in Montreal. Yes. But your career took off in France. Yes. How did that come about? Uh, I was modeling back then, and I was doing the back and forth between Paris and Montreal. And that's 23. I had to settle in Paris for one year, and uh, and uh, two months after settling down in an apartment, um, uh, I did this casting for this daily French TV show, and everything started from then. And d when you did French projects, did you have to take on a French accent as opposed to a Quebec? Uh, I got pretty lucky at the beginning because the first movie I did, I had to do a British accent in my French. Oh, wow. The second one, I had to do a French Canadian accent, which is my accent, <laughs> and and the third movie too. So I got pretty lucky. It's when uh, it's really for the the first movie Yves Saint Laurent that I really had to lose my accent completely. Okay, yeah. and how difficult was that? Uh, when you live there, it's pretty easy actually. <clears throat> okay. It's been five years now, so you know you you get used to it. Okay, and how did you get the role in Hundred Foot Journey? I hear it was kind of a, a really special way that you got it. Oh, oh really? Um, no. <laughs> Steven Spielberg saw you on a... I, I, I actually, he saw me on tape for the yes. first time after I did my first casting. And after that, okay. he went on on internet and he right. saw the sketches I did for this French TV show. As, and as a weather girl, right? As a, yeah, yeah, weather girl. That, that was, weather was like the purpose. I was doing mm. silly stuff. Yeah. And at some point, I was just giving the, throwing the cards with the weather on it, but I wasn't even telling the weather. And uh, <laughs> and uh, and I think he I don't know he thought it, I was interesting or crazy and he <laughs> called me for a second audition and that's it. Okay. Yeah. And um, what are your cooking skills in real life? And non-existent. <laughs> yeah. So did you pick up any culinary tips while you were? Uh, doing I know the movie? I know when they are worms in mushrooms now. Okay. That's really useful. It <laughs> yes. Is. Yeah, that would be. But other than that, I forgot everything, and uh, <laughs> it was really more about uh, body language. Actually, it was about okay. observing chefs in their, you know, yeah. in their kitchen, and and they're always moving and you know yelling okay. at people. And how about being a leader? So did you research the role by watching other chefs? Uh, I went to my friend's uh, restaurant. He won a, a, a cooking reality show. His oh, name wow. is Jean Hébert. And he's got this restaurant called La Cajou, and I went here, there for, for two days in the weekend, and I just observed him and took notes, and yeah. Okay. And is this your first English language role? Yes. Wow. Would you like to do more? I did another one. I just oh, finished done another a, one already. a movie with uh, Robert Zemeckis and Joseph Gordon-Levitt. Okay. Yes. And, and did you feel that, your personality-wise, you had any similarities to Marguerite? Uh, <clears throat> the way that she's ambitious and that she won't let, you know, anybody step on her foot, I guess. But uh, maybe I, I'm not as passive aggressive. <laughs> as She's not very subtle when it comes to you know not being nice. Right. And what was it like working with Helen Mirren and Lassie uh, Hallstrom? Well, Helen Mirren, I just have four scenes with her, so it's. Mm -hmm. But she, she's really inspiring to see, uh, to 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 see uh, to see her working and uh, and she's really generous too. And and Lars Hallstrom, she's such a romantic. Man, he's probably one of the most romantic men I ever met, and he and he, he put so much co confidence into me, and he made me trans he made me trust trust my instinct a lot. Here I said it, yeah. and uh, and that's really good as an actor. You know, <coughs> you feel really confident when yeah. you start on that you base. Did, you did a wonderful job, and it's Thank such you. a beautiful film. I've been recommending it to everyone. Um, finally, what's next for you? Uh, well, this uh, Robert Zemeckis movie that is coming mm -hmm. out in October and uh, two thousand and fifteen. And after that, I don't know. Everything's possible. Are you going to keep living in France, or do you anticipate a move to Los Angeles? Or uh, maybe I'll try. Yeah, yeah. but okay. I, lo I I love my life in Paris, but yeah. I'm open to everything. So yeah, maybe I'll try a little bit, maybe a couple yeah. of months in LA, and I'll see what happens. Okay, cool. Thank you very much for talking with us today. Thank you.